and welcome back. These are uh, the Fire TV settings that you should turn off or on. Um, these are just some of the things that I normally do every time I get a new device here. So let's go ahead and get through this. If you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up. And yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys got this new um, this new third gen Fire TV Cube. It's, it's pretty nice. So go all the way to the far right. And this is going to be your settings. Um, you have account and profile settings. I like to go through all of these ones just so that way you guys could see it. Sync Amazon content. So synchronizing your purchase Amazon content. This is how everything will be in there for Prime Video. If you do click on this, this will shoot you over to Prime. Now from here, what I like to do is I like to go here to settings and anything that you need here within this section, it's going to be here. So your parental controls, your previews, mute. I, I like to have this mute because sometimes when you're going through this, it's like, boom, super loud. And you're like, what in the world is that? Subscription. You can manage your subscriptions here. Manage rentals. Sync content into this app. Um, language, keyboard, contact. So pretty simple stuff there. Um, nothing crazy out of the ordinary. Now, um, you could also put parental controls here and this will turn either off or on. So you could do this within the app and you could also do this within the device itself. Um, if you do back up here, you go to display and sounds. If you have a home theater, this is where you're going to want to set up. You can create one. If you have different speakers, you could pair it. I know they have their echo speakers and stuff like that. So pretty good. When it comes to your screensavers, when you click on this, you could use current screensaver, Amazon collection. Um, you could do speed, start time, date and clock, display info, um, Alexa hints or Alessa hints, and then shuffle. So anything that you want to do here, you could either turn it off or you could just have one so it doesn't eat too much space. That's where you can do it. Now for your display, video resolution, leave that auto. Match ori original frame rate, leave that off. Um, for something that people really like to see is dynamic range settings. You could disable HDR, which I don't believe we had that option before. You can make it adaptive. I just always leave this on. Some people like to sometimes turn this off. And that's normally if you get like flickering or brightness issues, that's where you'll be able to do it. Um, you also have a game mode, sleep mode, and then super resolution, which automatically improves the resolution of uh, for a sharper picture. So you just turn that off or on. So it's pretty good. Audio. Best for, for surround sound, just put best available. Um, if you have anything very specific, if you do have something that's very specific based on either... Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby Digital, then you could pick it. I like best available and let my speaker just kind of say like, okay, this is what's coming in. Now for your advanced volume, you could put volume uh, leveler. So this is this sets a consistent volume level and then dialogue enhancer, this boosts up the voice. So the voice will sound cleaner. Um, AV sync, this is the, some of the tuning. And again, just a couple other controllers here. HDMI CEC device control, leave this on. If you have it off, turn it on this will um this will power on your remote so if you're like wanting to turn on the tv and your fire cube just leave this on click on this and then you should be good to go then you got some audio video diagnostics hdmi input pass through pretty good stuff here now for applications just just to do a refresher manage installed applications if you want to delete something let's just say you downloaded ida 64 you don't want it anymore Always do a clear cache, clear data, uninstall in that order. Clear cache, clear data, uninstall. That's how you can do it. Now, you might be like, hey, I don't want this Alessa shopping. Well, you can only do a clear cache, clear data for stuff. If it's acting kind of funny, you can't uninstall it. Some apps, you won't be able to do it. Um, but yeah, that's that, that, that's, that takes care of the applications. Now, if you are trying to sync your Firecube to your TV... You're going to want to go to equipment control, set up equipment. It says, what do you want to do? You could set up uh, setup will take five to 10 minutes to complete. So when you click on this, you're going to want to choose your right TV. It's going to ask you for like uh, volume control, all that stuff. This is where you're going to be able to do it. Um, as far as your live TV goes, you could put some favorite channels. You can manage channels again, parental controls. If you want to hide certain channels, certain networks, and then of course sync sources, 
um, controller and Bluetooth devices, anything that you want to add additional controllers or game controllers or Bluetooth controllers, right here, you got your Amazon Fire TV remotes, which will be the one that came in the box, game controllers, anything extra, mobile devices, if you want to pair your phone, uh, hearing aids, anything like that, and Bluetooth devices, some really insane features on this thing. Of course, you got your Alessa. Preferences, here's the big one. Parental control, another section, it's here for a reason. Privacy settings, device usage, off. Collect app usage data, off. Interest-based ads, you could leave this off or on. This kind of depends. What this does is it just collects all your information and then it gives you advertisements. As far as interest-based ads go, they're gonna give you ads no matter what. So if you go Amazon shopping, and you like to see certain things, you might wanna turn this on so that way you could see like if there's a sale of some sorts or if there's something that you might want to see. So you might wanna turn this on. And then of course you could put your advertising ID. So advertising media is just, uh, it's, it's, it's a user resettable, unique random identifier. Um, and this will hold anything that you have within your, um, your your other devices all that stuff that's how you can manage that and then of course if you want to turn it off just hit turn off and there you go data usage monitoring i have this off i don't want them to know what i'm doing when i'm doing and how i'm doing it notification setting do not disturb um this when you turn it on will not show uh pop-ups if you turn it off you'll get a little pop-up on the bottom that says this has been updated. I kind of like to see that sometimes, but if you don't want this to boggle your stuff down, turn it on. App applications. If you don't want any of these to say, hey, we just did an update, you could just manually turn it off. Um, just manually turn, turn some of the stuff off. If you want them all off, then turn this on and this will do not the do not disturb will turn on and everything else all those app notifications shouldn't turn on if it still turns on just go ahead and manually go one by one featured content allow video autoplay that's the very thing in the beginning i always have this off and allow audio autoplay i always turn this off because i don't want the thing to just blare loud at me um sync recent content if you want to pull everything in you can do that time zone language stuff like that easy um, of course, you got your accessibility, anything with hearing aids, closed captioning, um, anything with voice, text banners, text being bigger, screen magnifier, everything's going to be here for anything that you need. And if you're not sure, like what's your Alessa caption right there, it says show captions for Alessa responses when available, closed caption, show closed captions for videos when available, stuff like that. So that's how you can, how you can get it. Now, my Fire TV is really important here. If you want developer options, which I already have it on, click about and then go to Fire TV and click it like seven times and then it'll pop up. Storage, this will, you should be able to see how much memory you have left. I have 10 out of 12 gigs available. Your network. And then if you have an update, it says update is, in, you, I need to update my thing. So an update's available. Um, developer options, again, ADB debugging, turn on, install unknown sources, anything you want to download here, turn on individually. Uh, legal compliance, sleep, reset, uh, restart your device and reset to factory defaults. If you need to reset the whole thing, that's how you do it. Now, I know I did, I went, I just zoomed through that really, really fast. So everything that you need to know with settings is right there. If you need to slow it down, YouTube has a cool feature that you could go slow-mo. Um, or just pause, pause and, 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 and anything that you need to switch over. That's where it's at. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Did I miss anything? Leave me a comment below. Did I miss anything within those settings that you should turn off or turn on? Let me know. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.